Hey everyone, how you doing? Hope you're doing fine and okay. Well, this video is the first of a series of videos that I'm going to be publishing on YouTube and also a series of kernels that I'm going to be publishing on Kaggle in which I'm going to uh, like talk about machine learning and also the concepts, the mathematical things behind the concepts that we're learning. And, you know, these won't be only coding and programming. I'm trying to approach each concept as well as I can with the knowledge that I have, with the experience that I've gained over the past year. And I'm going to just, you know, uh, summarize everything with the things that I find on the internet, on different books, and give you the best that I can give you. Actually, so it is also for you and for myself too, because I've totally, I have to be honest, I've forgot a lot of things and I have to review them. So this is an amazing opportunity for me and also for everyone who wants to start machine learning and learn in general and have fun along the journey. Remember that this is not the only thing that I'm going to be publishing on my channel. I'm going to publish interviews, uh, book reviews and everything that is related to machine learning or deep learning or everything that is related to data. Uh, so this is not the only thing that I'm going to be publishing. If you don't want to watch tutorials or stuff, you can still stick with me and, you know, have fun along the way. So the weather was so great that I really had to go out and walk and share this amazing beautiful weather and nature with you guys too and here i just want to quickly very quickly thank you all for subscribing to my channel for liking my videos for supporting me especially when there are like hurtful comments or whatever but i'm really grateful for every and each one of you helping me throughout this journey and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button uh, but i don't want to talk anymore and let's get to the main story So let's say that we have a survey and we want to ask men and women all around the world about their mental and physical health. After taking the survey and also collecting all the answers, we want to observe the patterns that are in our data. So when we look at the data, we can see that like a lot of different answers are missing. So many people, certain people didn't answer certain questions. And firstly, this can happen because like a part of their questionnaire was damaged or we've lost a part of their data or answers. When this happens, we say that these data are missing completely at random. There is no pattern in the missingness. But let's say that we've asked our participants about their mental and physical health and some of them, like some men, didn't really know about the size of their abdomen or, I don't know, about the fat in their bodies. And we say, okay, they simply don't care about these things. And when we look a little bit closer, we see that a lot of men didn't really care or bother to answer the questions about their mental health either. Like, they didn't like to talk about their feelings, they didn't say how uh, depressed they feel throughout the day, and we say, okay, these are men, they don't really care about how they feel, they're just happy being alive. And because of this, we don't care about these values that are missing and we simply drop them. And we say that these are not the things that we have to take into account. Although we have to consider one thing in here. Uh, when you look at the data, when the things are missing, it doesn't always have to be at random. What if men are not answering the questions about their depression or in general about their mental health because of their depression? What if they are actually the ones who we have to help? And in fact, if you look at the data from all over the world, you can see more men kill themselves each year than women. And this is true in most places except for a few like Hong Kong. And it is called the suicide gender paradox. And that is what we as data scientists have to take care of. We cannot simply just let go of data pre-processing and say, okay, these are null values, let's just forget about them. And just make the cool predictive model when there's a lot of things hidden in the data itself. 